Look, the Bruno Fernandes situation, transfer, whatever you want to call it, has been exhausting for United fans. We never really do it the easy way, do it. And the last 48 hours, it's been no different. So what I want to do is bring you bang up to date with one week left in the transfer window. What is the exact situation between United, Sporting and Bruno Fernandes? Before I do begin, make sure you subscribe to United People's TV. But let's run through everything that's happened in the last couple of days. The last time we talked, there was a real consensus that United and Sporting both wanted to find a compromise for Bruno Fernandes to move to Old Trafford. What has changed since then? Let's take a look at what the Portuguese press have been saying. In today's papers, records say the clubs are still in talks but still can't agree on a price. Ebola say the clubs talked on Thursday and United were putting forward more attainable bonuses rather than the mad ones, including like winning a Ballon d'Or and something like that. And Ojogo said that Fernandez's agent has managed to get United to up their offer by 5 million euros, but they want another 5 million on top of that. I'll tell you what, Woodward and Sporting's president Verandas seem like a match made in heaven. Two absolute penny pinchers with the bottom line as their main priority. Seriously, get together lads, because you two working together is like two balls smashing their heads against each other. Not really going anywhere. But that's what the Portuguese press are saying. What about the British press? Let's take a look at Duncan Castle's latest updates on this situation. Duncan is suggesting that Sporting are now worried that Bruno might be a problem in the dressing room if he doesn't get that move to United but that the club were willing to hold on to him until the summer to get more money. Now, Bruno Fernandes, ages ago, agreed personal terms with United. That was done and dusted a while back. He wants the move. He's actively pushing for the move. He wanted the move to the Premier League in the summer, but it fell through with United and Spurs, and he stayed at Sporting. And now if this one falls through, I think you could understand that Fernandes will be a little bit frustrated. But he's their captain. He's their main central figure. Would he really turn into a destructive force? I'm not sure about that. But if after two transfer windows, he still hasn't managed to get the move away from Sporting to the Premier League that he wants, you could definitely understand some frustration. And that's what Duncan is suggesting. Now, as well as Duncan Castles, Gianluca Di Marzio has been speaking about Bruno Fernandes, the ex-godfather of United Transfer News, who has been usurped by Fabrizio Romano, but is still like to listen to what Dimazio had to say. He was on Sky Sports Transfer Show and this is what he had to say about Bruno's move to United. He said that United will keep trying to sign Bruno Fernandes from Sporting, that all personal terms are agreed. Interestingly, he says that Sporting believed a £55 million fee had been agreed in principle, but that United changed their stance and then offered £42 million because United found out about their financial difficulties. Goes on to say that all avenues of communication are still open and that United feel that Sporting are using the Portuguese media to put pressure on them to do a deal for Fernandes. And there's also a suggestion that Bruno's agent has an agreement in place that if a 50 million euro bid comes in, he automatically gets 5 million, even if that deal isn't accepted. So that may complicate things further. But Dimazio here saying that all avenues are still open. With a week to go, United and Sporting are still locked in negotiations and still trying to find a deal. But that's not what Neil Custis is saying for The Sun. He's saying that everything's off. Sporting wants 68 million in total for him. United are unwilling to budge. Game over. So you've got two completely different points of view here from Dimazio and Custis. And if I'm going to choose one to believe, I'm going to believe Dimazio because all Custis does is spend half his time complaining about companies on Twitter. If you haven't seen that, follow Neil Custis on Twitter and enjoy yourself. But Dimazio is saying that all avenues are still open. With a week to go, United and Sporting are still trying to negotiate that fee to find a deal that will see Bruno come to United. And my, how we all want that to be the case by now. And an interesting side point from that Neil Custis story, he's saying that Joel Glazer got directly involved and said no to the negotiations. I think that's probably bollocks, but if it's not bollocks, it means that someone's stepping in, a Glazer, and stepping in on Woodward's toes because he's the man who's supposed to be involved in those negotiations. Maybe I do want to believe it just for that. It'll piss Woodward off. But this is a classic case, I suppose, of transfer chicken. 
United and Sporting Lisbon, standing there face to face, neither club is willing to budge. That's what we're seeing. But the reports in the I don't know, previous few days have said, look, United and Sporting are trying to find a compromise. And I still think that is the case. Because if you look at Sporting, they have just completed the signing of Andras Spora for 5 million euros. And they, simply put, do not have the money for that transfer, which means one of two things. Either they sell somebody, namely Bruno Fernandes, they get the money in to pay the debtors that they need to pay in January. Or they get an extension from those debtors until the summer. But Sporting are in need of money. And it's no surprise to see that United are, I suppose, lowering the offer to try and squeeze more out of them. But it's mad to think that United only found out about their difficulties halfway through a set of negotiations. That's surely something they would have known at the very start. But I wouldn't put anything past United. Because we all know that ultimately the bottom line the profit is what is important to United. And on the one hand, you're seeing Ole Gunnar Solskjaer in his pre-match press conference there ahead of Tranmere saying, look, I've got the support of the club. We're on a path. I'm not changing my beliefs. I'm not changing my plan. We know what we're trying to do. And on the other hand, we're here arguing over 5 million, 10 million euros and we might miss out on signing Bruno Fernandes, exactly the sort of player that we need in the second half of the season. So what are United doing? Are we really behind Solskjaer in this rebuild? Or do we just want to make profit? Now we all know what the answer is, and it's profit. And that's why this club is in such disarray. But maybe with a week to go, we can change that. Bruno Fernandes comes in. Don't think anybody else will, if I'm being completely honest. But Sporting have bought a player. Sporting need money. United need an attacking midfielder. Everything points towards a deal that should be found. But United are just trying to squeeze and squeeze and squeeze. And it may end up that we miss out on Bruno Fernandes, which would be a matter of gross negligence by a club who's by supposedly a football club. It will be further proof that we're not a football club anymore. We're a business that so happens to have a football team at the same time. But that is all the latest on Bruno and his potential move to United. The conversations are still happening. They're not completely dead, no matter what Neil Custis might say. Let's see what happens in the next week. And if it doesn't end with United having signed Bruno Fernandes, I think we're all going to blow our lid. There is a distinct possibility that might happen, but fingers crossed that you... I'm still hopeful of a deal. Maybe it's just blind hope at this point, but we can't go through January without signing a player. And surely at this point, we can't go with not signing Bruno Fernandes. Imagine if we didn't. Jesus. Anyway, I hope this has brought you bang up to date in everything to do with Bruno Fernandes. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. Till next time, take it easy.